Today's praise in Purell devotional thought is worshiping in your struggle. The Lord also will be a refuge for the oppressed, a refuge in times of trouble. And they that know thy name will put their trust in thee. For thou, Lord, has not forsaken them that seek thee. This devotional is based on Psalms 9, 9 to 10. Worshipping in your struggles. How ironic, right? Imagine losing a loved one, a job, your home, and your life savings. Amidst all of that, you are encouraged to worship. Look at it from face value. I would say that there is no way I could worship in those struggling times. All I would want to do is cry, scream, and possibly blame God for what is happening to me. There is a song entitled, If it matters to you, it matters to the master. If it matters to you, it matters to the master. He wants to share the burdens you bear. Whisper peace when your world gets shattered if it is your greatest joy or your deepest pain or you are really needing an answer. If it matters to you, it matters to the master. After listening to the words of that song, I realized that the best thing to do in a struggle is to worship. Call on the name of Jesus, give the struggles to him, and let him bear the burn. He promised he would, and his words are ever true. So the next time you come upon a struggle, remember that the best remedy is worship. Sing for joy, praise the Lord through prayer and fasting. Dig deeper in the word and receive beauty for your ashes. Job is a perfect example of worshiping in your struggles. Job 1, 19 to 20 says, when suddenly a mighty wind swept from the desert and struck the four corners of the house, they collapsed and the young people and they are dead. And I alone have escaped to tell you then Job stood up and tore his robe and shaved his head. He fell to the ground and worshipped. Job got the worst news ever, but his default actions was to worship. In the moment, it might seem difficult to worship in your struggles. Remember, it's what you need to do. If you are going to emerge victorious, remember you are not doing it alone. Because if something matters to you, it matters more to your master. This was your Praising Pearl devotional thought written by Christina Byfield from the Seventh-day Adventist Church at Mason Hall. And I am Danny.